any day Let me take you away All I need is just saying yeah, 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 yeah Better nights, better days When you're here with me, babe Cause you're all that what's up youtube welcome back to my channel um i just we just left hobby lobby i was gonna record but i actually didn't know if i was gonna record this or not um but yeah so what we did is i used to have a really huge um headboard and i bought that just to youtube it was like i'll show it to you i'll add it if you look at my previous videos you'll see it there um I've been cleaning all day the kids are on summer break so we started out cleaning and we're like revamping the house and just doing different things like that that's what I have on this filter um, but anyway so anyway when I moved into the house into the townhome that I'm in now I didn't like the fact that um, I didn't have it was too big for my room. It was really taking up my whole room. So I bought this. And um, so I was like, I don't want to have word. I never want to have word, ever want to have board again. Um, but um, I looked up today how to just do like a DIY, very simple headboard. And I decided, okay, it's like a hundred bucks we can do a very cheap simple headboard that i'm actually gonna like and that i'll actually it won't be in the way so i decided to go ahead and do that so i got my form phone boards in the back the kids say hi, hi. hi. Over here. <laughs> they're back <laughs> they're back there they're fine uh, no they're fine they <laughs> they're fine <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna take you with me through the process because I'm about to do a bunch of different stuff, different DIYs. I think most of my room is DIY and I just like DIY because I could have something exactly how I want it. It's not gonna cost me an arm and a leg and I can have it right now because I love the instant gratification. Um, so yeah, we're about to do um, a DIY headboard. And I think I'm gonna put a little piece of it over my windowsill too. Pretty sure that's what I'm gonna do. Yeah, so sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. I don't know what's going on with Denver in this weather. Like, it's raining, and then it stops, and then it rains, and then it stops, and then it's just crazy. So, we are, I'm still waiting to get home. Okay, we're back home. As you see, there's a lot going on in here. I just redid that dining room area, so there's still some toys in the middle of the floor, which I don't, look, I don't know why. We've been through going through toys all morning, and I don't know how they still have this big container here of toys. It's huge. So I just have her, we measured it out, and this is what it looks like it's gonna be. Okay, so this is gonna be the entire headboard. Well, this is the width. I measured it out, this is what it is. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna glue, well, I'm gonna glue those two together. But I'm gonna glue in the middle of these, put glue in there, close it, glue in there, close it, just so that it's sturdy. And then obviously this piece to that. I think I got this for $3.99. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is everything we're gonna be using for this. These are not gonna go on the headboard, but I thought these were just cute to put on the outside. So we have our fabric. Hold on, baby. Hold on. We have our fabric here. This fabric costs $14.36, okay? We have a stapler gun, which came with staplers, and we have these little jewels. We already had the hot glue gun. We got those hot glue gun sticks from the Dollar Tree. From Hobby Lobby, everything that I bought, $107, okay? Oh, and I also bought... Okay, so I got this. This is like holographic. Can you see it? So that's cute. All that's done, right? That side? Yeah. This side, this side, this side. I just need to tape this okay. and then do one more line. You're going to do another line? <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> yes. I like that. Now it's stiffer. I didn't think we needed that piece, but my daughter demanded. Oh, you got two lines to do because you got to do this little piece and then you got to connect it. Yeah. No. Okay, so this is what it looks like now. 
this would be the entire size of my headboard. Um, and she's just getting the foam pieces out and we're gonna put the, we're gonna hot glue gun the foam pieces to this headboard. Ooh, something about the sound of that is messing with me. Okay, oh, that is not pleasant. So we should only need, what are we gonna four do, four? Four and a half. You said four and a half? Four and a half. See, this is why I think we should just cut it here. Oh, that's perfect. And then, that's okay. We don't have to. Oh, never mind. It is. It's perfect. It's perfect. It's perfect. We're going to hot glue gun that, but then take that other piece over there. Does that look about right? There's still a tiny little piece that I would just have to. Yeah, we'll just add in. some more to it. Yeah, but I just. Can't. My daughter is just filling in the blank and then I'm gonna hot glue everything together. She doesn't want me to help, but I am gonna do that part. Um, this foam board is, how how big is it? Can I two inches? Oh, so it's not very big. It's about what it looks like. First of all, it's hard to get the glue, enough of it on the piece before she messed up on that one. So she's redoing it. Okay. <laughs> it's hard to get the glue on the cardboard in time because it's so much of it before it dries. And the glue gun doesn't really work that well. Now, I don't know what other glue gun I could have got, but this is the one we always use. And we usually do it on small things. So let's see how this turns out. Does she want I bonding together? Yeah, we're bonding together. <laughs> Can I, for real, is it this fun? Yeah, we're bonding buddies. Okay, Kine. <laughs> She's made a whole mess over here, but she does do good work. She just takes a long time. So this is what it looks like so far. We're not going to trip too much off of this because it's just the thickness. We're going to add the fabric on top of it, which is right there that we just bought. And then, yeah, we're going to add the little um, holes and then we're going to put the jewels inside the holes. Hopefully this all turns out good because if it's ugly, I'm not going to be able to keep it. I'm not putting it in my room. So now we're just measuring up the fabric. But before we do that, yeah, we're gonna put the holes, get the measuring tape. So um, now we're just gonna stick holes throughout where the diamonds are gonna go. Like one right here, one right here. But you're not measuring. Fine, then I'll measure. You're right. Oh, I see. Because you can see these lines. Pretty much. So we're just going to scatter them, right? But how far apart are they going to be? And then they'll just be like... Because one is here at 51. 10 apart. 41. Okay, so 10 part. She was just thinking that we're halfway there. Okay, so these are where they're gonna be. So we're just gonna cut these out. So now the holes are in there and we are going to put the fabric over it. 
Okay, so now that it's pretty much flat, we are going to push the holes to see how it's gonna look. Okay, so the holes are not big enough. This is what it looks like. It's really cute, but the holes are not big enough for us to put these little jewels down in there. So we gotta make these holes a little bit bigger. Okay, so now these are about this big, as you see. Like half an inch. They're about a half an inch. Now we're gonna try it again. This is better. Um, it's a little loose, but we're gonna tighten it up as we go. She's gonna start stapling the holes. Okay. And I don't know if these are gonna be visible, but we're gonna make sure they are. Cause the holes are kind of deep. Yeah, they're kind of deep. Yeah, but we're gonna make sure you can see the diamonds cause that's the cutest part of all of it. Yep. This is pretty. So now we're just cutting, I mean cutting. Now we're just stapling along the edges. We already did this side and now we're doing that side and then we're gonna add the diamonds in the hole. So stand back. <laughs> so this is what it looks like right now. It's cute. Do you like it, Kine? It's cute. Yeah, it's cute. So we're gonna add the diamonds in the middle and then we'll be back. Okay, this is what these look like some of these holes were a little small so we stacked them in there but this is what it looks like so far Sorry. this is what it looks like now i think they're really pretty um i want to see what it looks like in my room we're going to take it upstairs in a minute and take a look at it i know it's going to clash hold on i know it's going to clash with the red that i already have but i didn't want my headboard to be red because i change out my comforter a lot so I just want to take it up there and see what it looks like. Okay, we got these from the Dollar Tree and these are really just so that we can hang it on the wall. So we're gonna hot glue the entire piece, stick it on there. That way we could put nails on the wall and it'll go here, 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 and here, and it'll be secure. This is how much fabric is left. She's just cutting that off. This is, um, we got four yards. Right, right here, oh. I'm outside. Just adding glue to these little frames. So, okay, we ran out of staples, so this is what we're using for over the um, window. And I ordered this blanket and these curtains just to match the fabric. Amazon be killing me with this whole, like, this thing is gonna, I hope it's gonna get a little fluffy. Okay, so this is what it turned out to look like. This is, this is what it looks like right now. And as you see all the, you can see everything in there. And then let me show you what it looks like with the pillows on there. Okay, I just added my pillows on there. I don't necessarily love these pillows. I'm probably gonna put a bunch of different pillows on them because all the pillows I had were red and they don't match this, but these four do, or these six do. And so yeah, this is what it looks like now. I love that. In the process, I also made this um, just because I thought, well, first of all, I had more material. Cool thing because it shows exactly where I live. It matches all the pinks that I have here in my room um stuff like this these are diys too by the way my flowers these flowers um i don't know what happened to those flowers up there oh there they are they fell my nft collection that i created um bougie bay club if you haven't seen it yet i haven't launched it completely but you can buy the nfts right now but yeah so these are this one and um, this one is, these are more um, DIYs that I did here in my bedroom. 
that one over there says chanel this one says gucci i thought those were cute i seen those on a youtube video and i was like okay i want to do those and then i just have like that drawn for me in prison and then it's gonna match this too because i'm gonna hang this up which this has been downstairs forever but this is my best friend that passed away so everything in here will match and she will probably go right here on the wall matches all my pink stuff over here i'm in the process of still cleaning my room um but this is a clothing line that i started and then just my manifestation checks also harder and i am in the process of cleaning my closet so i'm not going to show you all that but i'm going to make it look nice and neat and maybe i'll do a whole something on my room one day